Okay. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Good evening. Such a beautiful, beautiful evening. And uh, I am in the mood. of making some caramel. So uh, I decide not to not to fast forward. You are going to see exactly how this is happening. How about that? Let me fix the okay that is good. I will need a pot. Turn on the fire, put a little bit of water. Slow fire, maybe a little bit more water. Okay, that should be good. Can you see it? And then the rest, I do not need to do anything. So you see, it's getting um, getting uh, dissolved the sugar cover it up and uh, we will do exactly um, as it should. So if this takes 10 minutes, we do 10 minutes. If it takes uh, one hour, we do one hour. Let's do it. You do not need to touch it. And uh, I want to, this one, I want to make it pure. And uh, very, very often time I have tried, when I make it uh, um, coffee, flavor is one of the best. And the chocolate is just not that good. Coffee, a little bit bitterness, it's really good. Sea salt is also good. See, it's dissolving, so we can turn the fire a little bit stronger. And I intentionally choose that fire because uh, um, the surface area, the fire part, is a little bit smaller than this. So the heat is in the, in the bottom, not coming to the edge. And uh, when I do it, I cover it up. Do not stir. You do not need to stir. Just cover it up. So <clears throat> the good thing is that when you heat the pot, the edge becomes hot. And then the caramel and then the sugar on the edge will become burnt. And if you cover it up, the heat inside is a circulation so there is uh, 
the moisture inside is a circulation. So it makes the heat more even, not uh, too hot on the edge. See, it's getting there. No need to stir it and uh, we will turn the fire slower and let it have an even burning. Put it in the center. There is really not very much we need to do or we can do and uh, just wait it. Later on we will put cream and butter. That's it. I put a piece of paper here so that uh, it protects the work surface. And when I put this paper, one side is wax and it's slippery. So I spray some water, it sticks together. And this one is clean and sterilized. I don't think we will have so many bubbles. But uh, put it aside just in case. And this is a, a cute little pot. Don't you think so? And this one, cute little pot. Cute little pot. Now let's take a look at the sugar. See it starts to boil. Still let it boil. Seven minutes already. And uh, we will say hello later on. Not yet the time. And when you see what, maybe I do not know you. When I see the cooking show and I saw these and other cooking, every video, every cooking I watch on YouTube and they do it in two minutes. And it takes me 10 times to fail and it takes me much longer time. So I decide. <laughs> Let's do it together and see how long it takes. It cannot be just two minutes. See, it is start. See the edge, the water on the edge? It helps to drip down to make it not a burnt edge. Now I prepare my cream. heavy cream and uh, the cream are not created equal. Some of the cream are much more condensed, some are more uh, watery. So use as condensed as possible. Ooh, look at it. It starts to change color. Not yet. Keep on. Not very much we need to do. This large pan we do not need. We will need this pan should be sufficient. You know every time when I do cooking, uh, I never prepare myself. It's always uh, uh, I am in a rush to look for this, look for that. And this time I think maybe I have some time to prepare myself and uh, some friends say, I mean you should prepare in advance what are you doing you run around 
I am living my life. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh, start to get burnt. Okay, now I will get the cream ready. Yes. So I got two hundred gram of cream And we will put some butter in. Let me measure the butter. One hundred grams of butter. So we put a. Uh, 50 gram of butter should be sufficient and we want to get it a little bit burnt it looks better and it tastes a little bit caramelizy it's uh, even more tasty don't you think so we still need another pack here surface like this should be good. Butter. Cut the butter. Total is 100 gram and I put half of it, 50 gram of butter. So it starts to get uh, sickened, caramel. Get it burnt a little bit more. Turn the fire slower. Gosh, that takes time. Takes a lot of patience. I would like it a little bit further burnt. Take more time. There is really not very much we can do or we need to do. If we stir it, it will get to the edge and uh, it will burn the edge. And um, just <laughs> do some meditation, pray for rain. So today I went to um, Modesto, Central Valley area in in, uh, San Fran in, in California. There were uh, almond blossom festival and things. And I drove, instead of driving from a highway, I drove through the field of almond, the, the almond, blue diamond almond production, their field. 
oh my goodness, it's huge, huge. The scale of industry, the scale of uh, almond production industry or agriculture is, is just blow, blow my mind. I could not uh, imagine. Okay, so you see it's getting yellowish, burnt, starting to burn a little bit. I want it a little bit even further burnt so I can change the direction of the pot and some are more burnt, some are less. And, uh, when I put in cream, it will be so hot and big, huge steam. So I protect myself by, by wearing a glove. So it starts to burn. Okay, look at it, look at it. See, it burns. Now we make it a little bit even. Out, good. Now I can turn it because I am about to put in. Good. 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 Okay. Turn the fire very, very slow. Let it melt. Ooh. Maybe I put too fast, but eventually, and turn the fire a little bit stronger. So you stop the fire, not totally stop, turn it very low when you put in milk or cream. And when the cream, and it might be better even to put in hot cream. Now I do not need it really. So you need it temperature hot enough for it to melt. Good. Now it's totally melt because temperature is there. Good. This is a quite a, a low colored. I should, uh, in my opinion, I can make it a little bit uh, more. Oh, oh. oh, it smells good. Turn the fire low. See? Bargaining. Bargaining. Do not get a sticky bottom. That is important. That is good. Okay, 
in the fire. Very, very slow protein butter. Oh, maybe just to put it all together. all completely burning and melted okay turn the fire very very slow time to say hello hello so it's about uh, half teaspoon of Salt, sea salt, and that is it. Now we pour into the bottle. That this one is for me. Oh, I should put a little bit more. Anyway, that's it. There is a little bit of the bubble here. I'll try to avoid this bubble. No, no way. No way. Do not do not try too hard. Don't try. One. Two. Oh, it's hot. Three. Sea salt. Caramel. Now let me taste it. This will be for cake. Oh, look at it. Oh my, it's good. It's very, very good. It's edible. <laughs> the edible. The edible. Oh, I'm happy. Sea salt, garamel, et si ça. Bon appétit. Do, 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 do. That's it. So I will use yogurt to wash it. That's it. Okay. Hello, dear friends. As we have done uh, the, the gahamel, it's time to take picture just to show off a little bit. So I will show you how I do this. I have a tripod. 
I have a different lighting this direct in this direction and uh, I can put some um, let's see we can put some uh, we can put it on top of some cookie and I think I need another color of background uh, caramel is warm and um, sweet we want some background a little bit warmer and uh, and cozy right so I take my so I will take this tablecloth choose one of it and take a picture of them now I will do it you will only see the result it's quite messy to mess around with it okay you only see the result <laughs> 